Hello everybody. This is the European Day project of the United Kingdom. This is me, Nelson, and my friend Pavel. So, we are going to present about the United Kingdom, as I said, namely its four regions. England, Scotland, Northern Ireland, and Wales. Okay, so here's some basic information about England. First of all, the capital of England is London. The language that they mainly speak is English, like I'm speaking right now, but in a British accent, not what I'm speaking right now. The drinks is tea. They normally drink tea and, you know, obviously water, but you know what I mean. So now we'll move on to the food. There are many wonderful dishes in the English cuisine. A few of them are fish and chips, bangers and mash, Lancashire hot pot, and the most popular, English breakfast. The wildlife in England is mixed and diverse, filled with lots of wondrous creatures, just like the curlew, the red squirrel, the hare, and the little owl. England has lots of popular destinations that draw in up to 36 million people a year. Wow, that's a lot. That's about 65% of England's 55.98 million people population. Just a few of these said popular destinations are Buckingham Palace, where the Queen lives, London Eye, the biggest Ferris wheel in all of Europe, London Bridge and Big Ben, two very iconic places for English people, and Stonehenge, a rock formation that is still debatable if it was man-made, a natural formation, or made by aliens. England doesn't have a specific clothing style, but a little example is this jacket I'm wearing right now from the Manchester United Stadium in England. Yes, I did go there by myself. And that ends the section of England. Now we will pass on to Pavel with Scotland. Scotland is a very beautiful country in the northern part of the United Kingdom. Its capital is Edinburgh and the official languages are Scottish and English. Scotland is governed by the Queen and Scottish government. The population is about five and a half million people. Scotland is not a country of high cuisine, but some of the simple Scottish food and drinks are well known in the world. Haggis, roast grouse, scotch whiskey, Collins King soup and Dundee cake. Here are some simple Scottish words that you can easily learn. For example, yeah, I means yes, now, no, thank you, thank you. Good morning, good morning. Good evening, good evening. How are you? How are you? Whichever the new, goodbye. Scotland has a rich, diverse nature. It is a home for more than 90,000 species. Common Scottish animals are otters, woolly cows, puffins, deers, and eagles. And common plants are Scoth thistles, bog myrtles, gorse, and Scottish bluebells. Scotland is famous for its old towns, splendid nature, and great castles. Here are my top five interesting places in Scotland. First, Edinburgh, a capital city. Second, Loch Ness, a legendary lake. Third, St Andrews, beautiful old town with the oldest golf club. Fourth, the Highlands, a unique landscape of green hills and rocky mountains. And fifth, Aberdeen, a rare attractive old port city. Scotland, thank you very much, Pavel. I learned a lot. We are now on Ireland. Actually, no, sorry, Northern Ireland. Ireland is completely different. So, Northern Ireland has 1.88 million people. Well, that's a lot. Definitely more than I can count. So, here is the basic information of Northern Ireland. First off, the capital is Belfast. The language they speak is Irish. Here are some words from the Irish language. Hello. Yeah, do it. Goodbye. Slan. Thank you. Goodbye, my agat. Sorry. Tabron or. Excuse me. Gobo leithskial ledothoi. I'm terribly sorry if I said anything wrong. I am not from Northern Ireland. The national dishes of Northern Ireland are very mixed and diverse. Some of them are the potato apple bread, the pasty. 15. 
and the most iconic, the Irish stew. There are hundreds and thousands of species of animals in Northern Ireland. To name four of them, there are hedgehogs, they have a very high road kill rate in Northern Ireland. Red foxes, they were in Ireland for more than 5,000 years. Badgers, they double the time of the foxes, being in Ireland for more than 10,000 years. And lastly, but very cutely, the stoat, a very, very cute carnivore that looks like a fairy otter thing. There are lots of popular tourist attractions in Northern Ireland. To name a few, there are, first off, the second largest city in Northern Ireland, Derry. It is an old city with a wall around it. Secondly, the Giant's Causeway. Third off is the Carricaray Rope Bridge, a rope bridge very close to the Giant's Causeway. Lastly, we have Titanic Belfast. Most people know the Titanic ship, but they didn't know that it was launched and designed right here in Northern Ireland at Titanic Belfast. is also a part of the United Kingdom with its distinctive language, beautiful landscapes, and Celtic culture. Its capital city is Cardiff. Official languages are Welsh and English. Wales is governed by the Queen and Welsh government. Population is 3.1 million people. Welsh people like to cook great food from simple ingredients. Don't leave Wales without trying Welsh rarebit, Glamorgan sausage, Welsh cake, and Conway mussels. Welsh wildlife is very close to ones in Scotland and England. Common animals are red squirrels, puffins, red deer and dolphins. And common plants are snowdown lilies and daffodils. I was in Wales in 2016 and I was very impressed. Here are my top 5 interesting places in Wales. First, Mount Snowdown, the highest mountain in Wales. Second, Cardiff Castle. Third, Rosilli Bay. Fourth, Carnarfon Castle. Fifth, Port Marion, an Italian-style village in North Wales. Here's some Welsh words that you can hardly learn. For example, ie means yes, na means no, dioch, thank you, os gwelwch na, please, bore na, good morning, pwyn hau na, good afternoon, hul var, bye. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed our presentation of the United Kingdom. Goodbye.